Hey everyone, I'm back. Housewife Snob here. So, um, today is Saturday the 29th and, uh, of August and I just wanted to bring you an update. Actually, I wanted to clarify um, some information that I had put out earlier and it was in regards to um, the radiation that I'm um, going through or undergoing, which I recently put on hold. Um, I had mentioned that I was not in pain when I had showed the um, uh, wound under the arms in the armpit area. And so I just wanted to clarify a, a few things because I didn't want to mislead anyone uh, who may find themselves um, going through radiation, starting radiation, or in the process of starting it. So, um, so yes, it is true. I do not feel any pain uh, in the uh, breast area or under the armpit area that is currently being treated. The reason why I don't feel any pain is because um, I had the double mastectomy and I had a second surgery to remove the lymph nodes uh, earlier or just a few months this year back in June and so I'm completely numb in that area I have no nerve endings so I don't feel the pain but that doesn't mean that somebody else um, uh, would be pain free because it, the wound that I have um, where the skin is peeled away has gotten bigger and it is um, a burn or the result of a burn and you would normally feel that. You would be in a lot of pain actually and I have been asked if I want pain medication but because I don't feel anything, I don't need it. But one area that I do feel and I am in a lot of pain is underneath the breast where the breast ends and it kind of goes into your stomach. I guess that is your stomach, right? Where the breast ends down is your stomach area. That area, um, um, obviously is not the breast, so it's, it never went, underwent any type of surgery. And I am in a lot of pain there. There's about a two inch area under the breast that for whatever reason has also been radiated and it's uh, very inflamed, red. It's, um, um, I could tell the skin is going to burst open, that there's a blister working its way underneath there. I keep medicine on it, um, but that area is incredibly painful. Unfortunately, the medicine I use kind of numbs it up, um, but that would probably be the only area with the exception of, of here. This is a little bit of pain here, but I keep lotions and creams on it. And then unfortunately I got a little bit of burn on my neck, an area that should not be treated at all. That's That feels like just a, a normal sunburn. Um, it kind of itches that time, I try not to, to scratch. So these areas are very sensitive um, because they're closer to the neck area and they were not treated by surgery. So I just wanted to bring that information to you because I don't want to mislead anyone in thinking, oh, there's no pain. Um, because of the surgeries that I've had, um, I'm, I'm so numb in my breast area that I'm, I don't feel anything, but that may not be the situation for others. Um, some people radiate before they ever have surgery, um, which a lot of people do. They'll do radiation first after their, their diagnoses, or they'll do chemo first after diagnoses and then radiation. So they're not numb and they will feel the effects of the burn, which based on how mine look, are um, astronomical. So today I'm wrapped up in gauze. I'm doing some prescribed medication methods. Um, and thank you everyone for all your suggestions on uh, different medicines and treatments. Um, I read all those. I picked several of them up. And I'm going to try all of them or I have tried several of them. So right now I'm just kind of doing something that's working for me. I'm trying something else so that um, I don't have to lay up all day with air hitting it and laying in bed. I still have an active life and kind of want to be out there and so I had to um, do some research and, and I'm just trying some different methods so I just wanted to um, uh, bring this video to you um, clarify something that I had said earlier uh, because I don't want to mislead anybody and I always want to be honest about um, what I'm going through but also clear about something so um, the right information is put out there and so uh, and so that's exactly what I am doing today. Anyway, it is Saturday, and I wish everybody has a fantastic weekend. And um, take care and keep smiling.